Jason, happy new year. Uh, exciting news to usher in 2017 with uh, word that USL was elevated to D2 status in North America. How does that, the importance of that step reinforce for kids likely coming out of the draft and heading to USL? Yes, I think it's fantastic for the USL. They've been fighting very hard for it over the last uh, several years and uh, that also adds a little bit more pressure to the whole organization and as well as the clubs um, that are affiliated with USL in terms of just upping the standards and knowing that you know they want to be one of the premier second divisions in the world and uh, that also attaches a lot of uh, pressure as well, but uh, good added pressure. Um, as for the kids that want to elevate to that league um, you know very few actually come out of the draft and go straight into MLS teams and uh, they're fortunate enough to have this step uh, where they can uh, get down to business and learn their trade day in and day out and, and see what it means to to have a 10 11 month season and we don't have to look any further than Alex Bono's contribution last season who was drafted in the major league uh, soccer super draft and then worked through your system and then contributed to uh, Greg's team with the first for with the first club does this act as an encouragement or how does this help motivate those on your squad and those who are about to be drafted yeah i think it's it shows a great testament to Alex Bono and his character um, if you look back at it, uh, come February, March, he was very disappointed and very low at that time mentally. Um, but he stayed professional and kept working hard every single day. Um, and it's a credit to himself. It's a credit to uh, John Conway and uh, the rest of the coaching staff, as well as Greg, for giving him an opportunity uh, because he was ready when his opportunity came and he, and he grasped it and took it with both hands uh, figuratively. And, uh, you know, it was, it was excellent for him to take that chance. And it definitely shows that the system works. And if you continue to work hard, keep your head, stay humble, which is very important, um, and just wait for your opportunity that good things can happen. Um, but I'd like to emphasize that you have to take your chance when, when you do get it. Now, drawing off the sentiments from your first answer, you had said that many kids who come out of the draft head right to USL first. So this is an interesting experience for you, maybe even more so than Greg in the first team. What attributes do you look for to kind of project the long-term uh, success of one of these guys on the pitch? It's it's an interesting dynamic. You have to watch and you try to see, you know, one or two things that they do very very well. Not necessarily, you know, five, six, seven things, but a couple things that really stand out. Um, I know Greg likes thinking footballers, as do I, um, and that's something that we try to look and see their brain on and off the park. And you know, moving the combine to this lovely facility this year, um, we're at a very good vantage point, so you can think see a lot of things off of the ball, um, which can kind of give you a little bit of insight into terms of their brain and their thinking and positional sense, um, both attacking and defending. So um, it's very good. And finally, on the flip side, uh, being that uh, TFC2 head coach and being that first stop for many of them, you probably have to deal with a couple traits that you're trying to develop out of these very talented um, seniors in university. Is there any of those traits that you've seen year after year that you try to work on with them to, to, to grow them out of it? Uh, it's difficult until you actually get them into your house and, and your surroundings to see how they adapt to it. Um, many of them will be coming to a new country, uh, but it's also a lot of it is sometimes egos, you know, and, and dealing with the man management side of things because they go from the the big person on campus to you know the small fish now, and uh, they have to work their way up the pecking order and up the chain ladder, um, dealing with pros and uh, ultimately them having to be able to deal with more than a three-month season. That has been something that we've seen over the last couple of years uh, with regards to the travel, the day in and day, day out um, training, as well as the level of the games um, and not hitting that sort of fatigue level around June, July, uh, which is something that we have seen. So, you know, we can give them some pointers um, and sometimes they just have to go through the process like uh, the ones before them. Coach, with your pedigree and your experience, there's no one better, I'm convinced, to teach these kids and help train them out of uh, those things. Thank you very much for your time. Good luck the rest of the week. Thank you very much.